Lesson 5. Subject-Verb Agreement In the last lesson, you discovered the distinctions among first-person, second-person, and third-person pronouns. In English, most present-tense verbs change slightly when the subject of the sentence is third-person singular. For example, the verb eat changes to eats with a third-person singular subject. This change is called subject-verb agreement because the form of the verb needs to agree with the subject of the sentence. In practice, subject-verb agreement is most often an issue when the subject of a sentence is either a noun or a noun phrase. Remember that nouns and noun phrases are always considered third-person subjects. Notice that in all three of these examples, the change from a singular to a plural subject requires the omission of the letter S at the end of the verb. One of the most common subject-verb agreement issues is the change from is to are when a third-person subject shifts from singular to plural. Subject-verb agreement tends to be a common source of grammatical errors in student writing, especially as sentences grow in complexity. For this reason, it's important to learn how and when these changes in verb form take place in basic sentences.